everybody, it is Big Mama Jewel's house. Welcome back. And they actually have a different setup today because we got a guest, makeup artist Rebecca, local, badass. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey, y'all. How you doing? We are wonderful. Yeah. I think. We've had another interesting week. It's been a good time. Freaking <laughs> Jules. We had a conversation earlier about how she was around when porn was in theaters. Yeah, I never did go to see it, though. I never did go to see it. I've actually been asked to make movies. Believe it or not, in my younger days, I had it going on a little bit. Now it's all gone. But... <laughs> I did. It was like $500 a movie. Well, I decided, no, I'd rather just give it away for free instead of getting paid for oh, it. Oh, I thought you meant $500 to go in and watch was, the porn. No, <laughs> no, no, no. But, the, it, it, but then I started thinking, you know, we had, they did have those theaters. But did, I... Did Pee Wee Herman get caught? Pee Wee Herman got caught. He used to... Long, y'all y'all probably... I don't know if y'all know this, but he... That's my loo! Yes. He, <laughs> he used to have a, a cartoon-type show on where he was... Da he was funny. Catch a buzz and watch him laugh your butt off. Mr. Pee Wee and Herman. he got caught jacking off in the theater. Well, if you're watching porn, what are you doing? You're either having sex or you're jacking off. Bro, I couldn't imagine going in them theaters and sitting down in them sticky seats. No. You wouldn't be able to get up. You'd be like, this. Surprise, motherfucker. Yeah. caked on shit. Go home. Like, how much did it, how much did, like, it cost to go That I home? don't know because I never did, um, I never did go to the theater. Now, we went to... Me and my ex-husband, I've had a couple of those. <gasps> my, my first one, <coughs> we went in like a little room and, you know, you put the quarters in the machine. <coughs> and you get a big show when they put the quarters in the machine? Yeah, but I didn't think about how many people Holy had gotten shit. off. Yeah, I was like 18. <laughs> he was awesome. 28. He was 28. Bring back porn theaters, guys. Yeah. <laughs> they still have them every now and then, like at certain places. Like Hustlers used to have them. No shit. Yeah. Bro, I, I mean, remember. They got a little curtain in front, so you don't get to see anything, but you can probably hear it. I remember reading about because I was looking at like different sex stores and shit for like you know different toys and you know getting it interesting in the bedroom. Y'all. But fucking, there was this one place that was renowned for the glory hole. Had a glory hole in the fucking bed. I was like, "What do you think's on the other side? <laughs> do you, do you think it's a guy or a girl? Like it, it almost it, doesn't matter. Is it, it a matter? dick coming if through? You, is it a dick you're putting in there? Hey, most people don't care as long as they get pleasure. I mean, that's fair. I guess if you don't see the face, but like, if I felt some scruff against my balls, I'm out, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it could be a female like going through menopause. I got about five little whiskers growing here. I don't think I've scruffed anybody yet. No, I had a dude. <laughs> I had a dude that kept standing me up over and over again. Okay, all right, fine. I'm old, okay. But then he said, Jill, I got a glory hole in my garage. You want to walk up from your house over here to do whatever. So my glory hole? Yes, and then I can walk back home. That is not nice. <laughs> no. That really made me what? feel bad. He had stood me up three different times, and then he wanted me, and while his old lady was in the house, okay? Said, while his old lady was in the house, he said, hey, you want to come visit my glory hole? Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, hon, I'm just going to step out to the garage for a little bit, maybe yes. take a few, like, few drinks, and then Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to go work out. He's good. <laughs> I mean, that's not very nice. It's almost I, insulting to be like, you want yes. to come visit my glory hole? Because I don't want to see you, but I, I want pleasure from yes, you. Yes, yes, I don't want to see who you are. <laughs> And I, that's why I stood you. And we were talking one time on the phone. Now, girls, guys, whoever, if somebody's in the middle of just a regular conversation and all of a sudden they hang up on you and they don't tell you why, you know, okay, the phone goes dead, whatever. But no, he didn't tell me. He said, oh, I had people at the door. I had to get the door. Well, why didn't you call me back? Well, I didn't think about it. You didn't think about it and you want me to come see your glory hole? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Put in the work, guys. Yeah, come on. <laughs> this ain't no cheap and easy day. You gotta work no, for it. No, you I gotta mean. work for yeah. it. That's right. That's right. <laughs> um, Becca's got some stories. I'm sure she's Yeah, young. she was one of our best friends back at the trailer. She yes. was Kilo. You know, she, she's got plenty of good stories. She actually went to 
California for yeah. uh, for makeup for school years. for two years, two years. Yeah, and went and, did, yeah. Uh, went and we missed the makeup. living shit out of her, bro. She came back with all these tattoos and dyed hair. <laughs> I was like, who the fuck? I went from shy farm girl to yeah. She this. came back with the new attitude. Yeah, man. for real. She didn't have any of the piercings or colored Is hair he, tattoos you see on her now. Bro. We're all I used to go to Catholic school. Most people are like, no, on like. Surprise, Catholic. motherfucker! Well, we've heard about Catholic girls here. Yeah, I yeah. swear, she'd be over at the trailer with us partying a lot. Her and Katie both. Oh God! And we yeah. would show up and I'd be like, "Hey, yeah, bro!" <laughs> Kilo would love it whenever you and Katie came over, bro. Yeah, y'all were so. Katie's so loud. I love that. Show. I know. <laughs> we She's all know how to bring out my weird. Like my confidence and everything has risen just because of her. I swear, I feel like a lot of people need that friend that's like that extra. Like you were more like the what's the inner one? <laughs> Where you're like the introvert. The introvert. introvert. Yeah. You're an introvert. You need yeah. an extrovert to bring out yeah. your true self. And get, I feel now like everybody needs a friend like omnivert. that. Omnivert. I looked that up the other day. There, it's an omnivert. It means that you can both you can be both introvert and extrovert, but you are you thrive in both situations. I've done that. It's like I like my my, my time like mm -hmm. my alone time but yeah. like i also love people i like socializing yeah. at the same time i don't mind my alone time i used to uh i used to bother me a lot because i felt like i was i have a separation anxiety problem okay <laughs> but i'm working on it but because i think because i've been through rotten relationships um and they've left well, I kicked him out too. Well, I don't know about kicking him out. They she gets left. tired of him every five years. Yeah, about every five years, I got to trade in for a new one. I think <laughs> men should be like rent a cars. When you're done with one model, you turn it in, and then you can get another one. <laughs> yes. And you don't even have to have perfect credit. You can put a deposit down. <laughs> I'm can serious. you get it? Can you get insurance on a broken heart? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just temporary life insurance. <laughs> yeah, heart insurance. Can I get that at five year intervals, please? No, I haven't met anybody that I think I'm gonna like after five years. Cause that's when you find out if you really like them or not. No, my marriages. I've been married eight years. No, seven years. I got divorced seven years to the day I got married. But I was only with him probably about three. And my second one was eight years. But I was only with him probably about two or three, but he was violent, and he, he did not know that you can't sleep with every woman that walks down the road. Okay? Alright. I know I'm, I ain't all that. I understand that. I was a little, I looked a little bit better back then. You're making me choke on the smoke, I'm bro. sorry. And I do have some wrinkles. I'm fighting them. This is the woman that's going to save me from looking like a frog by the time I am 70. Yeah. With you know? our, she's going to no, be an in-house in makeup walk. artist. Yeah, yeah. You got any, uh, any tips for Jules here? I know she's Collagen been worried about how and, she looks, and something looks on the podcast. Yeah, retinol. Retinol? Retinol. Yeah, retinol is really good to start. Technically... You should, for men and women, the right age to start focusing on actually taking care of your skin so you can prevent aging or yes. to help it, it's at 18. Because that's when your oh skin God. starts to actually Yeah, mature. I was really, you're mm -hmm. in really good. I heard that hemorrhoid cream helps, hemorrhoid cream helps a lot. <laughs> it does. No, I've, <laughs> I've heard it. Look, I was even watching an episode of 30 Rock the other day, and the lady was embarrassed because the guy brought her hemorrhoid cream in front of a hot guy, you know what I mean, for her face. Yeah. I don't know. I've heard the myths. They work. It works. It works. I'll go ahead and tell y'all. I would use it. You know why? Now, listen. I know. I know. I do not put... It has never been on anybody's butt. Okay? <laughs> they give you this insert thing where you can do... No. No, Jules no. Jules does not have a hemorrhoid. No. <laughs> but wrinkles, and a lot of times it's swollen tissues, and it does bring it down. Except mine is the stress of the house, too. When you're stressed about something, and you can't be comfortable even in your own home, it's going to show up, and you mine does. You should get one of those, like, gelled eye masks. I because thought about you that. Can put yes. It in the fridge. Uh huh. And then for around your eyes to prevent puffiness and everything, put some of your cream in a separate jar and put it in the fridge. There you go. Because it cools it down and it helps with the inflammation. Probably better to have a phone. Oh. It's probably a fake phone call. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Yeah, I do. It's not important than leave voice. Oh, and phone calls, y'all. Phone calls. <laughs> Excuse me. 
<laughs> yeah, she got excited about phone calls. Phone calls. calls. <laughs> when these stupid motherfuckers are oh, told, yeah. I'm sorry if y'all's ears are burning, I don't have a car at the 20th time. Bro, she gets people that call her about car insurance. This lady do not have a car. <laughs> or have y'all heard the one about the social security number? You got the thing saying you're going to jail because your social security number has been, gonna, is been in, something's wrong with it, okay? It's going to be suspended. So they not hold on, because I want to talk to these people. For one, they say Social Security Department. No, no, that's not what they say. They may say that, but then it's their name, their badge number, and then they say, may I help you? And they come from Bangladesh. Nothing against Indian people, but you can tell they're not American. They might be Americans, but they got an accent, all right? Jules now is very passionate about false calls. 7.30 <laughs> in the morning, and I stay up till 3 or 4. They're calling me to talk about... And they're saying, what is your, what is your name? You should I, hear her cuss them out on mm -hmm, the phone when mm -hmm. they call her, literally. I tell them, well, if you um, have my social security number, then you know who I am. Oh, man, but I said you were a scam artist. I'm and I'm, I I'll should call the police. I'll turn it into a joke. Well, I'll tell them, too, that I'm going to say two different people. <laughs> I got asked yeah. about car insurance the other day. I'm like... I already have a car and insurance, but I have a Hot Wheels. Would you like to do that as well? Yeah, I'm sure my yeah. Hot Wheels. <laughs> because it's really, um, there was a boy, and I don't know how to do it, but he was getting paid by people calling him that were not legit like that, and they, and, and he had a little, I don't know, I wish I would have paid better attention, but he was getting checks. He was on like, um, you know, the people or what, yeah, people I think it was, where they got different, you know, yeah. Yeah, he was getting paid. I want to know how that to do this. Like an easy job. Careful the Ember Road. My <laughs> nails are going. I need to find my brush clip. My nails you are going. You look like Gollum going for the ring, yeah, dude. I <laughs> <laughs> I'm a have... clothespin. They have that. It's like it's like that, so you can perfectly rest it in there and gently flip it. I need to find my brush clip that Paige bought me. Mm -hmm. That's forever ago. Oh. Yeah, um, I'm going to have no feet and I'm going to be blind. I mean, ooh, baby, I want to take you out. Yes, surgery, brother. Do you have any, like, makeup that would work specifically maybe yeah, for an older audience? Yeah, fix me. Fix me. You know what I mean? Because, like, there's certain makeup that just makes, like, old people look sad when they try to I need a face transplant. Yeah, right? a lot of older women make the mistake of using the, um, your skin ages, so, like, a lot of... Yeah. Older women need to switch over to like cream brushes anyway, instead of powders and everything. And I because it helps hydrate your skin. Stay away from okay. as much shimmers. Like That's you don't good. want the chunky glitter. You can do like a What about glitter above your eyes? Like if you if you want to do something like I like the glitter at, if you're gonna do something at night where it just mm -hmm. sort of because it's like my inner fairy coming out, I wanna be yeah. glittery, but I don't want to look like a two dollar hoe. Down on Hotel Street, okay? All right. Well, we all know I'm a pretty big fan of glitter. <laughs> I may be yeah. dark and mysterious, but I also like glitter bombs. Glitter makes you pop, bro. And then I got in your hair, too, because then people notice you. See, because, and that's not what I want people to notice me, but I like it when I look in the mirror and I feel like I look wonderful. I don't really care if you like what I look like or not. I'm not trying to be ugly, but y'all know. You know, people worry too much about what other people think of them. As long as you feel good about yourself, if they're not sleeping with you or paying your bills, why does it matter what they think? They, and, and, you know, really, you must be interesting because they would be talking about you anyway. So, hey, you're like a you know, celebrity in their world. They want to talk about you. I mean, yeah. even if you're sleeping with them, sometimes you don't want to care about what they think about you. Swear, yeah, come out in them sweatpants and see what he thinks. <laughs> I saw there was a TikTok. Somebody was like, "Okay, I'm gonna go meet my uh, this date," and she had sweatpants and like a hoodie and her hair all messed up. And they're like, "Why are you doing that?" Because if he <coughs> agrees to date me while I'm looking like this. And when I'm like looking up, like, mm, this is gonna be like, mm, yeah. That's fair. That's like, yeah, that's like the opposite like, of what they do. They start looking hot and then start wearing yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, the John in reality. I'd that's... rather have it all out at once like that, too. Like, you know, technically, that's how it was with um, my boyfriend. Because uh, the first night I met him, I let him stay at my house because he didn't have anywhere to go that night. And I was like, yeah, sure, just and come on probably, down. And he probably looked good, too. And like, yeah. 
Yeah, that helped a little bit. He goes, oh, he was really nice though. I only knew him for like two hours. But he, you got to start out real. Yeah, happy. like shit. I I was like, okay, well you can take the bed, you can take the couch. Blah, blah, blah. I literally, I didn't sleep in, I don't sleep in pants. I sleep in my underwear. So I was like, are you going to be offended or weirded out if I sleep in my underwear in just a t-shirt? And I have like a really long t-shirt, so like it covered my butt. But it was like, I don't like wearing pants. It like, it That's takes it. the sheets off the bed. I, I don't like, like it. <laughs> I like sleeping in my underwear too whenever I go to sleep. Yeah. Nothing but my underwear though. I don't wear no big t-shirt. I gotta have a t-shirt on. I slept in on. these pants. You gotta have a t-shirt on. Get your t-shirt on. Um, and, and because of bugs, I can't sleep with no pants on. Because <laughs> I not having any, you know. Yeah, never mind. They but say anyway. that you eat like what, eight to ten spiders in well, your sleep at night? Well. <laughs> yeah, over a we don't of have that Over the course of a year. Yeah. Bugs no. just be creeping me. Ooh, I need to have a face. <laughs> Sometimes I do be wearing pants whenever I feel some crumbs in the bed because I'm like, what if it's a bug? <laughs> I gotta get up and get those uh get the crumbs off. It's gotta be nothing. And Luna, I have this little uh, puppy, she's a year and a half old. She digs. And she gets excited, so she's dug holes in this side of the mattress. Oh my goodness. So I've got a blanket down there, and then, you know, <laughs> yeah, so it's good. I can still sleep, no problem. I get cat litter in my bed. I do too. Stupid I was cats. literally just about yeah. to ask you. That is insane that you just did that to me. My, my <laughs> shit. No, literally, I was just about to ask, Becca, do you ever get litter in your bed because All of your fucking the cat? the fucking time. I don't know why that happens. They do. They love my bed, bro. They love getting in that bed and sleeping, so I guess it's whenever they just get in there. Clark and Tucker will literally follow me. They, I slept on the couch last night because I was like up late, <laughs> and so I just fell asleep. I woke up with both of them on top of me. I was like, really? It's weird. It's I very keep, weird. It's weird. You're like, how the fuck did the litter get in my bed? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's because it gets caught between their little toe beans. The little and toe then, beans. like, <laughs> Tucker was like chewing on, like trying to yank it on his claws the other day. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? Well, He's how often do y'all change your litter? Man, because we look. I mean, it's just, it just Will. gets between their feet anyway. Yeah, right? it's from them digging. Yeah, it's from them digging. In I'm like, mine don't do that. I'm, I'm glad you don't. But, <clears throat> sweet witch pie. It's not like that. I mean, you're partially Lunch blind. Or... Maybe some of them crumbs you're looking at is some cat litter. No, it's springs coming through the bottom of the mattress because Lynn <laughs> has started <laughs> little holes on this side of the mattress. <laughs> She's totally destroyed the other side. She, she, she ruined one side of the twin bed. Well, I was broke. So I flipped it and I put something down on it. I sprayed it, you know, real good. Well, what happened was I ended up not having the sheet down one time and she got excited and she's dug holes for this how the springs are coming through. You put a blanket down, it's good. You can go with it. She tried to dig her way to China through your mattress. Now she's just going fucking he's mad because when I leave out the bedroom she flips out. She has she some separation anxiety. Yes, yeah, very bad. So I wonder she where she gets that I don't from. know. Like, <laughs> That's terrible. I gotta work on it. Yeah. And then they say our, our animals wants, emulate us. Yeah, well, do them doesn't. Do them just laying underneath the cover. Or she says, hey, but then she goes back underneath the blanket. Bro, that's you trying to stay at home. I don't. Yeah, but she runs around the room. She needs room to run. She's a year and a half old. I've got. I told. I, I said, I'm, you know, I'm going to have, I'm going to put her up the yard wherever I go, <clears throat> where she can at least go outside and be outside for a little while. So, or if, over to the country. Mm -hmm. They all pull up at the end of the night, and <clears throat> uh, my boyfriend, well, most of the time, he will, like, pull open the door and just be like this at the screen door. <laughs> so after a while, my cat started doing it. Oh my god. Daddy. They'll be in the cat tree and then I'll kill Clark from outside and he's like meow, meow, meow. <laughs> and then Tucker's just staring like You're They do they greet you oh too. Gosh. So I have the whole caravan just greeting me at the door. I, <laughs> I love that. My cats think they're dogs and every time I open the door mm -hmm. to come home like from oh, work yeah. or something they'll They'll be walking up to me. I love it whenever Ivy did it. Ivy's pregnant officially, by the way. I, I noticed. <laughs> She's I was big. Like, You're big. <laughs> she big. And I know it ain't the food because well, I haven't changed the I want food. one of the kittens, but I don't want to be. I can't bring another kitten to that house. I've lost four or five cat, 
Poor cats. Get ready, trap kitties. These are gonna be some acid spiritual walking cats, bro. I wanna <laughs> get feed. your own pre order today. <laughs> <coughs> I want a female. Tyler, if I'm out of that damn place by that time, Speaking I want to. <laughs> I, I want. I keep telling myself no more cats. I really want another one. Bro, though. no. You I said that after Ivy, and then I got Romy, mm -hmm. and then I'm debating. I want a main coon. So I don't amazing. think that's the cat. Yeah, depending on how depending on how many kittens she does have, you could easily keep them. But I have some people that already called some of them just because. You don't. Want but then that I don't many. want I don't want that many no because yeah. I'm gonna have to get like a little pin or something for them. You're gonna have to like go. Pretty soon I think she's already like a month and a half in, so she, I, it takes three months for cats' pregnancy wow. to have babies. Mm -hmm. So. I can't I humans be pregnant for Tyler, a you gonna, time. Are you going to try Because it's a lot bigger. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Super grow. Super grow. <laughs> why, why don't you just go ahead and have him neutered after this? I can't. It's not officially still my cat. I'm yeah. watching it for someone still. Well, on the second litter of kittens, I bet you I've talked to her about then. The second litter is going to her house. There's a second litter. <laughs> yeah, there will be in about six months. Oh my no, god! About every three Don't months. you wish that evil on you know, me, Ricky Bobby? Every three Bobby. months they go yeah. to eat. Every three months, and she doesn't have. Oh, she gonna have these? She's kids. too old to get fixed. She's, yes, she is not. She's like five, six years old. No, he can get fixed. They got. Oh, he can get fixed. Yes. Don't yes. worry. I just yeah. got Tucker fixed, and he's I mean, two. all they gotta so do is, is they don't really. I always feel have bad shopping off an animal's manhood, though. You, you know, know some I mean? you won't be. Trust me. You know. After hearing Tucker go meow at two o'clock in the morning, <sighs> I mean, does that show whether she's in heat anyway? So I'm kind of used to it. Well, when she goes it in gets the heat, real quiet. Are both of your real cats nice. boys? Yes. Okay, yeah, so... Yeah, you, getting them okay. <laughs> Yeah, he was... There was a female stray running around, and all I heard was... Row, row. I was like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, and I was like... Shh. I got a girl. I mean, it stopped for a minute, but I guess that's whenever they were getting it on. Because <laughs> they didn't have to meow for it. Some anymore. of those noises were probably her getting yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't talk about my daughter like that. <laughs> well... Feet? Yeah, they Male? stay out really Cats? bad while they're no, fucking there. No, my daughter's a hoe. Ivy is definitely a hoe. Well, you brought a male around. Well, I mean, you remember whenever we were in the trailer, bro, they, her and Harley would run around with all the Harley little crazy, guy man. cats. Yeah. Ivy was always more male than Harley. Well, they'd always try to, like, sneak out the door, like, because Jules was real slow coming in. So, like, once she'd open the door, they'd be like, yeah. Yeah. right past her in the legs, bro. So then I Go started doing it whenever they one. tried to sneak back in, whenever mm -hmm. they tried to, like, sneak back in for food and shit, because that's all they wanted to come back for was that food and water. So I'd freaking grab them and just be like, nope, you want to live out here now. So I'd just mm -hmm. throw them right back out and be like, Try again the next time, I guess. Treat them like a teenager. <laughs> it is. I treat them like kids, dude. That's, I think that's why they have so much personality, because I don't treat them like a dumb, like, animal with no personality. I, like, Clark my will kids. look at me with such distaste when I don't <laughs> pet him when I come home. And if I wake him up, he's just like, how dare you? Yeah, if your animal doesn't have personality, it reflects yourself. You don't have any personality. Yeah, <laughs> especially with cats, they mirror yeah, like swear. the most, like they don't mirror your top personality traits. They will mirror like the lower, like the not so noticeable personality that <laughs> most people don't realize. And then your cats will actually mirror it. And then you're just like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Why are you acting like this? No shit, dude. Oh my god. Mine will jump up when she knows I'm getting under the cover. She'll jump up, go and either go underneath and have her head sticking out on my arm. She sleeps under the covers, and then I've got the other two in bed. So it's like, I've got these, I need a bigger bed. I need, they need to have their own big bed up on a mattress. Yes, they got those, the ones you can pull out. They still want to get in yours. Huh? They still want to get in your bed no matter what. Danny and I are thinking about getting a memory foam mattress. So I have a queen. If you want my old one, you can have it. Yeah. Yeah. It comes with a box spring too. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. That'll work. And I don't care what has happened on that mattress. I really don't. No. <laughs> Maybe that mattress will inspire me to do something. I don't know. I mean, I got it mattress. from my parents, and it's about as old as my brother. So. Oh my mean. God. I'm sleeping on a twin bed that both sides have holes in them from my dog. That is like freaked out, happy when I get when she out. She goes crazy. Just wait till you see. You know what we could do? We could put a little vinyl cover over the top of it and then put your fitted sheet on because then 
Yeah, I gotta get the, my the fitted sheet wash. I am Yeah, because needing... if you get like the, the really thick plastic, mm -hmm. she probably won't be able to dig through it. Oh, I don't know. She, she may, she may not. I don't know. She dug through the carpet down to the baseboard in yeah. front of the bathroom door. I had to nail it back down because I go to open the door and I couldn't open the door to get out of the bathroom to get back in my room because she had dug the carpet all up. So we had to like nail it back down. Oh, no, she is serious, and her claws funny. are sharp. Yeah, she, I don't know. She probably could. I think she could get through the plastic. She might. Be able she to might, but a little digger. We'll if she had harder, next next place, she's gonna be able to get outside. Even if I just put a little pin up for her, mm -hmm. that I have to take her out to to put her in to get her back out. At least she can run around a little area. You know. Is uh. That's it. She's a puppy, and she's having to be in one room. Yeah. I I am not gonna sit outside, and I I did a lot before. I did a little bit more, but not not anymore. When they're done mm. with you know going to do what they have to do, we're going back in the house. I'm locking everything behind me. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> the front door is locked. The other side, of the dogs are out. There's a bunch of big dogs on the other side of the house, so I don't really worry about that. Did you say you wanted to re-dye your hair soon too? Yeah, I did. I know. I know. Snow's coming over. Well, the what if we also did that on the makeover episode? Because there's gonna be a makeover episode with our new artist. Oh, I. With Jules, because we're gonna give Jules a full makeover. We could redye her hair. We could do all the makeup and stuff. I want to go. I'm thinking either ish, either streaking it, Becca, or going back to being blonde for the summer. I've like never a, seen you blonde. Like She's always light, had red hair. As yeah, long as I, I don't know how I feel about blonde. Right? It's no, interesting. It's like either a medium ash blonde, about that's about the color, because it's not real, real. It doesn't look like you've really dyed your hair because it's mm -hmm. close. And then you can jump to light ash blonde. I, so, yeah. In the comments, put blonde or red. What do you think we should we should do for the makeup I, episode? I, I appreciate y'all's comments. <laughs> Go ahead and do it. I just think it's it's springtime, y'all. and I We could put, you, like, daisies and flowers in your hair, too. Yeah, like, yeah. I went around the head, yeah. yeah. We'll look at the blonde. I think oh, we'll look I think I need yeah. to go. Well, once, yeah. I'm going to fix me. This is my summer to come out and be the better me. I'm still going to be Mama Jules, but it, and a better uh, fix Mama some stuff. Mama Jules point two. Mama Jules point two. Yeah. <laughs> it took like 10 years to come out of the depression. Big Mama I mean, Jules makeover. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it really sucks. Both my last boyfriends, it's not funny. <laughs> but they killed themselves when I left. So I figured I was just not going to date anymore. Because that's sort of like... Because they're violent or they're drug addicted, I, I, I'm gone. Um, yeah. So I figured I'd stay single. And because it was much better because, you know, I don't know. That's, so you said you like a lot of glitter in your makeup? Yes, I like glitter in my what makeup, kind of, what glitter, kind of glitter in my life. What, what kind of makeup do you think we could, we could do for her? I don't know. I had to come up with a few ideas. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to be like, you know, when an architect does a building, you're going to have to sort of... <laughs> Like putting like different phases down, Becca. <laughs> oh, girl. Yeah, because you gotta sort of rebuild when you build or rebuild something. You've got like this has got to be done first. Well, she does special effects makeup too. We can make it look like a movie monster or something. You make it I want to look like I want to look like yeah. A, I want to look like a fairy. I could, I could catch you the fairy ears. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's make what you I want a new fairy. Go. That would really make disability. No, I needed some help. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think? Kind no, of that's, that's yeah. when I bring over my blood wheels and my bruises. Oh, back it that we could like do. That. We could do my face like in different colors, like in rainbow colors, but like blue at the top and then maybe going into, I don't know. Bro, would we be able to do one of them like half makeup things where like half is makeup and then half isn't or something like that? Yeah. I can do anything. So we could see like the actual I've made difference? People, I've made someone into a fish. I have a silicone head of myself on top of my face. Bro, brain. she does. I don't know. You need to use that for pranks more, by the way. I know. Because <laughs> it's just sitting there and it's a perfect replica of her head. And it's sitting on top I'll of the fridge. I'll have to send you a picture of the head so you can like bloop it or something. Bro, yeah, here, I'll put corner. it right here. I'll put it right here. <laughs> I it. spent a month on that thing. And I, I didn't have a car out in California. So I had to take it on the train and a bus. 
on. Did you like hold it or put it in your bag? I, the, the thing, okay, so like, <laughs> it was a whole process, okay? <laughs> like, we had to, we had to mold my face, of course, and then we put clay in the mold so I could sculpt away impurities and like create like the gashes or input eyeballs in it. Yeah. Because, of course, when you have silicone running down your face, you can't really keep your eyes open. It's a little difficult. Yeah. So, like, I had to re sculpt it. So, it was on this little metal hook, metal post with a stand. And it was this clay wrapped in a plastic bag. But you can still see it, of course, because I only use saran wrap and everything. Had it on the public transportation. I had tons of people be like, What is that? So, it's like a head on a stick? Yeah, it's a head on a stick. <laughs> and it's made of clay. And then, like, people couldn't tell it was me, of course, because, like, it's just a. It's just Play head. Yeah. So they're like, what is that for? Are you going to like this school or this yeah. school? And I'm like, no, I'm going to a class up in because I uh, make this. You should have just said, no, this is a normal day for me. What do you mean? Well, I did say that. Most of the time I'm like, oh, this is normal for me right now because um, where I made this head, we went to the lab that did like, um, they did the original Jumanji movie. They made the alligator. Oh, cool. They did Tremors. You want to shout out the school or whatever? Um, yeah, I made. I went to Cinema Makeup <coughs> School out in California in Koreatown, Los, in Los Angeles. So like, I lived downtown Los Angeles for two years. It was it was lit, but I don't recommend living there. <laughs> I don't. It was so much fun. Like, okay, so I didn't get to meet any celebrities or anything like that, but I did, I was looking on my Snapchat, and I follow Jeffree Star, of course, and he was like, I got this brand new car, and I was like, oh, that's cool. I went with one of my friends that I was working with at the time, we were going to her place, and we got on this bus, and we passed this pink and white car. And later that night, I look on his Snapchat, and he's like, yeah, I was downtown, and I hit a pothole and wrecked my car the day I bought it. I'm like, I saw it! Oh, I man. saw the car! Oh, my God! That'd be kind of cool, bro. I was like, that is so freaking yeah, awesome. Yeah, because there's not one of those cars there, and that was the car. That it's was just cool. Yeah, yeah it like was a, a uh -huh. bright... Think you were in the presence of celebrity, like a radius. Yeah, it was a pink and yeah. white Ferrari. Yeah. Oh, that's it was nice. so nice. Well, I mean, did you while you were down there? Did you like does Jeffrey Star have like a makeup studio or anything? like a Kat Von D's type setup or anything? Um, he was kind of doing his own thing with the Morphe store, and that was before this past year. There was so much controversy, and Morphe just he uh, extracted all of his products from Morphe, so he can't get it. So I would go to the Morphe store, and he had his own little section, mm. and that's where I would buy everything from the oh, store yeah, because yeah. if he used his uh, code, you can get a percentage off. So I was I would get my makeup brushes and this new eyeshadow palettes and everything from there. Oh hell yeah! Um, it was really fun. <laughs> it was so much fun. Cause you didn't you tell me you went to the Kat Von D makeup place too out there? I passed her tattoo studio. Oh, you passed her tattoo. God. Yeah, for her to get my yeah. first tat. That She's got them fun. hairless cats, man. They're so cute. <laughs> but no, like, like Kat Von D has a five year waiting list and the minimum is eight hundred dollars. Holy she can do that, but she can do it. Yeah. Yeah. She's well she a bad bee. She a bad bee. She is. She was. You know, she's, there's a lot of controversy on her too because she's like anti-vax and everything. But it's like, it's her kid. You do whatever. Yeah. You what? She don't like giving her kids what vaccination? Mm -hmm. yeah. She was anti-vax. Like for some of them, he has the basic vaccinations now, but he's. But she was like, if it's not needed, and if it's just like an unnecessary thing, like the flu vaccine. She doesn't. She doesn't go for that. So she's like. Uh, I don't go to the doctor unless I'm sick. Like, exactly. You know, like a lot of people just misunderstood and wanted to create drama and all that. Well, because kind of there's going to be haters out there. Always. You know. Um, Always. Oh yeah, I got hated because I was white out there. I was like, this is different. I go from Midwest small town where. Yes, yeah, where. I told you, I told yeah, you, man, that place is, is. I didn't like it. It's weird. Like I there's different like discriminatory stuff come, out there. Mm -hmm. Come yeah. go back down south. Like, That's where I wanted to go. I was I a like block away from my apartment building, and some dude. I got two. Uh, I had two guys, two different guys, um, tell me like, "You need to go back home, little mamas, because you don't know what neighborhood you're in." I'm like, "I live right there," <laughs> and he's like, 
Jesus. Mm -hmm. You did look innocent as hell back then, though. I did. You did. She looked like, yeah, yeah. she looked. I had my natural hair. Yeah. I had it. I, it was short. But <laughs> you had like, the natural brown hair it. that was like down the here. Yeah. She, you didn't have any of the facial But I did dresses. eventually cut it into a mohawk again. And then I dyed it. And then I kept doing the colored hair. But then I, I didn't have all the tattoos and everything. I only had like two piercings. I didn't really, I didn't really get into all that. Yeah, I was there when you got your pineapple tattoo, though. Was yeah. that your first one? That was not my first one. That was my <sighs> second Which one. Which one was your first one? This one right here. Oh, the little, yeah. Yeah, little and now part. I got, now I got them all. Oh, yeah, like, look, she's I got, got a whole sleeve going. A whole sleeve started. Wow, well, they got never seen all that. Yeah. yeah. Chelsea at uh, Eternal Link did these two. Shout out, Chelsea did mine too. And then I got these what out did? in California. This one cost me 300 bucks. Yeah. I sat with my arm like this Ugh. for um, two hours. Sweetheart, what are all those? Because I really can't see. Is that a bat on your arm? I have a bat on this arm. Okay. Um, These two are eyeballs. This is an eyeliner. I have a lipstick. I have an eyelash curler. And then this one is someone putting on lipstick. Yeah, you had your whole makeup. <laughs> 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 Bro, the camera died in between. Shut up. Uh, yeah, so you got them because you like makeup. <laughs> yeah, I ha yeah, I have the makeup. I figured might as well do a sleeve for the career that I want to choose. And plus, they're cool. Like, I found this eyeball on Instagram. But, like, when I was getting the Kat Von D lipstick on... The guy that was doing my tattoo offered for me to smoke a blunt with him. Oh, fuck and yeah. I was like, no. Yeah, no, I would have definitely. We also had California. school later that day too. Bro, like, I don't want to go to school. High. Whenever I got my fucking basement tattoos, man, I was I was puffing up that entire time. Smoke weed every day. It was freaking Ooh. great, cause you know, cheaper <laughs> 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 and more discreet too, bro. Yeah. I knew people that were underage going to get freaking basement tattoos to hide from their parents. Mm -hmm. Well, Danny and I have a tattoo machine. Yeah. Yeah, <coughs> and him and Sid both want me to work on them, and I'm like. You gonna get into tattooing? Possibly. Oh, I wanna do yeah. if I'm gonna get into it, I wanna get it I wanna start out right. I don't wanna be like, oh let me give me your arm. No, I'm gonna get like the practice skin that you can oh, get. Say, online. Can't you also like practice on produce and stuff for like tattooing? Well, yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah. Like tattoo. But like with there's a turkey. whole there's a whole like certification that you need and stuff like that if you wanna actually like do it, do it. But like I thought about doing it for a second. That shit's fun. I am. I want to at least like try it because you you can use the machine with a pen, and you like practice the movements with a pen too, and do like tattoos. Cool. I feel and, like, like doesn't it vibrate like your hand too while you're doing it? So you yeah, sitting it's like, there, a, like it's a vibrating. That's thing. why you got I wonder how your hand feels after doing that a couple hours, Robert. You get like real carpal tunnel on that shit. I don't know. You think so? Yeah, I'm not sure though. Well, you're just, still moving. Or your fingers though. would just be numb by the end. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But like my thing is, if I start doing the actual tattoos and like working with the machine and everything, I can find out how tattoos work more often, so I can start with my business idea. Because I want to do the whole reusable temporary tattoo for people who can't have tattoos or like allergic to the ink or smart. underage yeah, I can people. Do, I can yeah, do that. True. People that didn't like needles. Yeah, I can yeah. do those. Yeah, so like you yes. can have it and yes. you can use it I up to a certain those. amount of times. Mm -hmm. And like for people who go to raves, I can use UV reactive supplies and Dude. glitter and stuff like that. That would be sick. And like the can, same designs you have in normal, you can also have in those. So yeah. they can just have them glow that So night. yeah, so yeah. like with your black light, I don't know if they can see it on camera, but my middle fingers are neon yellow and yes. they glow. I know. Yeah. So yeah. like if you use a paint like that, and you can just put, like I know they have UV reactive tattoos and they just use like white ink I've been wanting to get ink. one so bad. I do too. I want, somebody on TikTok has invisible sword tattoos out of like, white ink um That'd be and it's dope. so cool because you can't see it on normal but if they have a uv react uv light or black light you can see them I, i'm I, like i, I want to do I it on my, my face, face tattoos now and my parents won't see it right yeah <laughs> but like i don't know if i would get it on my face but it's like that that's a cool exactly. idea and that's like, a dope you're idea you're talking about a, a sticker or some paint it's like, like actual tattoo. black light reactive tattooing yeah. oh on my face no i don't want well i, I mean just anywhere that you want to yeah blow. you can do it anywhere but i don't like i'd probably get swords. it on my little alien face arms. is cool That'd if you cool. have the right setup to where you can have something here and then it comes out and i don't know something 
different, but see, but that would also be every time you go into black light, you'd be glowing no matter what. You so. don't have any tattoos yet, do you? No. Jules, didn't you say you were going to get a tattoo sometime yes, soon? Yes, my birthday. Her birthday. They give you enough time to think about it, because I'm, I'm so <laughs> scared. I am. Yeah, think about what you want, and then get the money. Oh, I know what I want. I'm going to get the pagan symbol like uh, Tyler's got on, yeah, on his thing as a protection. Either yeah, that, I'm going to put a pen on the anti-possession. Yeah, the yeah. anti-possession symbol. Yeah, because I don't need any more bad things if coming my way. If you do a pentagram, you can use it for, so, for multiple Well, I thought about a pentagram in my right hand, mm -hmm. because it would, like, you don't like I somebody. I do not recommend doing it on your palm. And you could that just go leave me alone. That fucking hurts. Mm -hmm. I would just, you know, you'd be able to just leave me alone, and they'd freak out regardless. <laughs> they freaking like, yeah. oh my god, the chick with the tattoo on her hand. Yeah, I'd look a little crazy. But Run. it's okay because it's like it's I'm, a seven, I'm 70, 75 years old. I can do that. No, I'm you would loud. definitely look like a 75 year old. No, like whatever you just said. I, I'm high. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I did not say that just now. But fucking yeah, however old with the fine, thing on your you hand, know, you look like a it, witch. Yes, it's honestly We'd have to get you the fancy hat. that and age shit. person, mm -hmm. I don't care. Because I know you. You are never going to look 25 again, or 20 again, or 18 again. It's cool. I don't worry about it. I, all these lines represent his We're going to make you take, look like 20 years younger. No, you? 20 years would be good, because edition. I think I could pass <laughs> for like a, a woman <laughs> probably about 10 years. I don't know. Beck is a pro. It doesn't matter. I just, you know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but everybody look, y'all, 2021, uh, let's all, everybody do makeovers. Do stuff you thought you weren't going to do and stuff you've been putting off. Start your year off, okay? Summertime's coming, y'all. Summertime is coming, and I'm going to go to the beach. Or so If I can't get to California this year, there's... Go to Carlisle. Is it a beach? It's like it's like a mini one. It's a big lake, and it has the beach on it, basically. It has sand and everything. No, I but... haven't been since I was... Like a kid. It's not an ocean. The lake beach, would be but fine because we lake. went to the lake like two weeks ago, wasn't it? Or something sometime around there. We two weeks. You've heard about the traveling house you right, correct, Becca? Mm -hmm. I kept leaving yes, it I all did. over. Got left at Dollar General, got yeah, left the, deck the driveway. <laughs> got, got left where? Where did I lose my shoe? Before I came here at Dollar General. And Chris Did Dale, you really lose your shoe today? No, it won't no. come off now because I'm bound up. I'm bound up. I'm, I'm bandaged up like a mummy. We're going to tape that shoe to your freaking foot. Like, yeah. just wrap that bitch yeah. in tape. I thought about some, bel some Velcro at the bottom of my, shower my, my feet and Velcro it on my foot. And just be like Flint and be like, spray on shoes. Spray on shoes. Yeah. Body with a chance of meatballs. Dude. That'd be great. Spray on like, shoes. You shower with them. You do everything. Really. Yeah. That needs to be sparkly. a revelation. <laughs> and they're sparkly. And they're black and sparkly. <laughs> oh, you could get those those uh, jelly shoes, man. Like a sparkly jelly shoes. Dude, those are your shoes. feet, though. Wait, you jelly could... shoes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're jelly from the 90s. Mm -hmm. They're those clear plastic shoes that girls were obsessed with. And or they were pink, popular again, blue, like, what, they were three years ago? Yeah, and they're soft, and they're... And they're... Hmm. I have gonna, no clue. I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna oh, look it up. Yeah. We're, gonna we're gonna have a picture of sparkly no, shoes right well, here. We're gonna, we're gonna school you, son. No problem. You gotta school me. What? Yeah. Did you used to have a pair? Yeah, my kids had them too, and they were the girls. I didn't buy the boys' jelly shoes, or did I? I might jelly have bought shoes. blue ones jelly or black shoes. ones. Yeah, they were soft plastic, uh, rubbery. They were rubbery plastic. They were rubbery. Were they cheap? They weren't that expensive. They're about like flip flops. Walmart had them for like ten bucks. They don't have them on okay, there. Finally loaded. Uh -huh. My phone was like being Mine weird. Mine don't want to load. Mine don't want to load either. Mike keeps saying. I made the it's, mistake it's of like, wearing them to the zoo when I was younger. Oh, you got without one. socks. Yeah, and you got. And one. then I got wet. Ugh. Oh God, blisters all over the mm -hmm. place. Oh my mm -hmm. goodness. Oh my God, it was so bad. They don't sound comfy. I want to go to the zoo. They're not. Hey. They're not jelly shoes. They're literally just made of thick plastic that's sparkly. Well, Jelly I thought shoes. like a rubbery plastic. I don't know. It, it bends. Yeah, it's it's mm. like a soft. Get you some Crocs. No, I some need... Some Ugg Crocs. Do you know I don't even need Crocs? Because they got the thing on the back that'll keep you from having it fall off your feet I while guess you're in the But, uh, but, uh, but Tyler, my mode. toenails are terrible, so I need to have something to cover that. We're going to get you a pedicure. 
Oh, they You think them jellies are gonna cover up your sh- I don't know, my god, I got- Jellies are worse than Crocs. Yeah, You have jellies. a better chance with Crocs. Crocs, Crocs have more it. styles like, than jellies. My grandpa oh, has some nasty ass feet and he wears Crocs, no one notices. It's you know, okay, you can wear out. socks with Crocs. I just want to get- Rhymes, it's gotta work. You can wear a pair of tennis shoes. Because I like tennis shoes. A pair of black tennis shoes, that'd be fine. Because I'll be dressed in jeans. Get you some of them badass soles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they're flat. And the, you know, maybe something non skid. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Irwin family posted an April Fool's photo uh -huh. because um, Bindi had her, Bindi, yeah, had her kid. Yeah. And they were like, oh, the baby's first encounter with the mighty croc. And they're all holding crocs. Oh my God. It was so cute. I love uh, that. I was like, that's a good joke. That's a good that's one. That's freaking awesome. The baby's name is. Oh. I don't remember what name it is. I think it's like. It was named after part of the Boris family, too. Wasn't it like Gloria Warrior Irving? Her, her dad was called the Warrior Irving. You know, he's the warrior. Mm -hmm. they, and then Howell, or whatever the last name is, I think, or Grace. The fuck? It's an interesting name, I know that. She named the baby after her dad was called, uh, what did I just say? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, warrior Irving. Er Irwin. Irwin, because he was Irwin, you know. Yeah, then he went out, he was like the warrior against whatever, I don't know. But yeah, that's part of the baby's name. It's something, oh, forgive me, y'all. She could write a whole book describing the name, but can't say the name. Yeah, something. It's right on the tip of that tongue. Yes, I, it's something, warrior, Irving, and like her last, I can't, I can remember it. that part, I just can't remember the first and the last part. <laughs> Uh, anyway, y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, but it's very cute family pictures, and everybody's interested because it's a nice family. You know, they've never been caught for DUI, or breaking and entering, or partying that too we much. Know and, that, we know, know, that we know of. That we know of. They're down, down under. Yeah, yeah, you know something? Yeah, but I bet you mama, uh, <laughs> Mama's in charge of that house, and for some reason, I think they do listen to her. Maybe, you know. Maybe. I mean, they, they've never had really bad publicity. No. Publicity. Well, both the parents were mellow. So they, I truly believe you inherit your genes from your parents. And if you have really mellow parents, most of the time, you're going to have a mellow kid. You know, they don't yell. I don't know how you got me then, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, I have, no, well, we all know my mom. <laughs> Your mom is the strongest, scariest woman in the world. I know. Bro. I love you, mom. She's the sweetest lady, but I like when I she's there, you, she's like so intimidating. She knows she's intimidating too. She, she does know. She's she to her it. advantage. She no. does, but it doesn't then, work with. Derek I was definitely not raised in a calm yeah. household. Yeah. Oh, we weren't. We weren't raised in a calm household at all. But, but I'd be somehow, like the calmest of all. I don't know how Derek is. How he is. Yeah, your little brother Derek's is a tougher, freaking trooper. I love my shorty. <laughs> Becca, he is my shorty because he is so tall. That was no. my pet and, I, and, Bro, and he was tell him like how six, tall is Derek? He's like six five, six six now. He wears a size fourteen shoe. He's fucking huge. Tall as fuck. I and call him the Jolly Green Giant. Jolly he, Green Giant. He's my little buddy. <laughs> and he, he has a heart as big as he is, yo. Dude, he is, uh, good, yeah, he is the sweetest person ever, and I swear. I tell him all the time, like, if anybody wants to fuck you, I'm fucking them up. I will kill for you. Sorry. Not sorry. Oh, I don't blame well, you, bro. you're the big sister. You're supposed to do that. Back I'm up. surprised like, with his height here. He isn't he... knocking away a bunch of offers. I know. Because, like, once you say 6'5", they're like, ah. I mean, the poor, the poor boy, he keeps, he keeps trying with all of these people. And like he's all these girls, and then they just play him along because they well, see him as the big teddy bear. Women like, be like that, though. They don't like they don't like the teddy bear. Apparently, you know, once you get teddy bear oh, eyes, on, you know, like, I think yeah. what he's thinking about is going to school and working. That's and he good. don't have a whole yeah. whole lot of time stay to stay on your grind. See, he's always at make work, your money. and then he does go to school, so he's got that going Plus, on. Plus, he and doesn't that's he have the Twitch stream going too. Out. Yeah, he just started doing that. Yeah, he's, he's got doing, the Twitch stream. I think I might actually sponsor him. I might start sponsoring him on my Ecstasy Games channel. There you go. I started talking to him a little bit about it, so yeah. he might have a sponsor behind him. I was about to say, we, he needs to get yeah, going yeah. on his podcast on Spotify because he has one, but he hasn't 
done anymore. Bro, yet. we might bring him in for something like oh, this. Oh, I love too. it, man. It yeah, would be Derek wonderful. Would be yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You said he has a podcast. Derek, out. shout out. Yeah. If you're yeah, watching Derek, this, man, out. get in touch with Tyler. We want you here. <laughs> no, I'll put a link know? below to his podcast so you can get yeah. to that. Too. All right, that's how people because do he's, it. He does a lot of gaming. He's been like gaming 24 7 since I. 10 or 12. Yeah, we've been there. trying to get into the Twitch streams. And he's like, very good. Like, he's been part of beta good. groups and oh, stuff shit. like that. Yeah. Like he's professional. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. And he's um, with a group right now, and one of the guys is from New York teaching coding, and so he's talking to him about... You think he might process. get into design and video games? I, my mom and I are pushing them towards it, trying to talk them into be it. Sick. Because, I've like, always if, wanted to do stuff If he like can that. learn about coding and shit, he can use that for anything. Swear. That's never going away. Coding Computers are rising. That's it's the not new like, shit. Yeah. Swear. So, like, if he can code a new, like, a, a game. It'd be or... like the new Ed Snowden. Oh, yeah. man. I wouldn't be able we'll to come out to all like the parties, best. Becca. Even if you got to roll me in the wheelchair with my cane, <laughs> I want to come to all the parties at his house. I don't care. Whatever, he's yes. a master coder. Yes, yeah. yeah. When he's making that master money with that master pool. And It'll volunteer. be like that movie, uh, Why Him with James Franco. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I think Eric has more potential movie. to do shit than I do right now. Well, I mean, it's you got just the because master I put, makeup stuff, Well, I too. put my stuff on pause right now because I'm trying to figure out, like, where I want to go. That's always hard, too. And, like, how I'm going to start doing this business because I go to, like, I work at haunted houses and stuff, so, like, I'm probably going to start making some masks and because I have a few ideas on how to do some of those. Yeah, because you got the stuff to make custom mm-hmm. masks and Like, stuff, when too. this whole quarantine started, I wanted to do... Monster masks for public. That'd be pretty. And dope. like, just like build up on top of it so you can still breathe out of them, but like you look like you have teeth and shit like that. But that'd be kind of cool. I had to work during quarantine. I wasn't one of these lucky motherfuckers who yeah. are like, I'm, stay home. I'm so essential. Well, make right now. <laughs> We're at a pharmacy store. I have to be essential. Yeah, I guess so. With working at. Oh, Watering Beckett, it's good to work, pharmacy. honey. Yeah. If you don't work, man, you got to watch TV all the time. I got. You were an essential worker too, though. I was, and now I'm not. No, yeah, I'm not. Everybody needs their McDanks. Everybody, I'm an essential worker at Pizza Hut too. You I didn't know what mind I mean? like people need their pizza to their yeah. door. Everybody needs their freaking drugs. And you, and you meet people, Sword. and you meet people. You start to get to know people, Ugh. and it makes you feel like you belong. You know, in a place. Then you're gone. People ask about you, but you're gone. Um, yeah, yeah, I miss going, I guess, seeing people, which, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Bro, you gotta I just want to go outside, go play in the yard, man, and build a little garden, like I said, make the birdhouses, sit in the kiddie <laughs> pool. I'm going to get everybody's own blow-up pool to lay in on their little floaty, and your feet might hang over the side. That's when you get, like, but, the yeah. bigger ones are, like, really long, Yeah. and you dig out some of the ground and you make it level so the lip is just like an inch above the Becca, ground. Becca, would you show me if I got... And you put your feet in. We could do that. If you, you would show me how to do that, draw, you have to draw a diagram if you can... Or you can <laughs> <just show me. laughs> yeah. Um, make an old blueprint for it. Because that way summertime's coming. It's going to be hot. Mm-hmm. We want to get it where Pinterest. it's out. Out in the morning sun and then as it gets really, really hot... Mm-hmm. Maybe a shade tree over it where the water is still going to be hot, but we yeah. won't be directly in the sun. Or you can do like those really big umbrellas, one at each end. You have like the tables with drinks and stuff. Be kind of nice. Yeah. Oh, that is cool. And, and if we you could did be it out. right, you could do it with tarps and everything. And yeah. just like, you, you can make like a little lazy river and have people sitting. Oh there. my and God. And you can do like a campfire in the middle so you can be sitting and Oh, and, and then you could actually you can roast put a little, chilling. you really could put nice a little raised table. <laughs> Of the, of the pool or you could put your drinks and stuff while you hang out after your yeah the barbecue would be right mm-hmm. there yeah I originally saw it on Pinterest because they did it for their dogs they just grabbed one of the itty bitty like baby ones mm-hmm. and then they dug it out put bricks on it outside and then they put it in with water for like their little kids and the dogs and then when they didn't want it as a pool they filled it with sand for a sandbox that's kind of cool cool good idea 
Yes. That right. you're going to need a cover for that thing because all the cats around the neighborhood are going to come. Uh, come <laughs> or at least in our yeah. neighborhood. Yeah, I remember here. our sandbox when mm. I was little and we used to have like 30 cats. Oh, it no, wasn't no. a sandbox before. No, it was a big no. cat box. <laughs> <laughs> so if you, have a, if you have a cover to where you shut it back up when you're not in it, that'll, you know, mm -hmm. some of the, I've seen the big turtle ones. I used to get one and get one for my kids. And I never yeah, that's the one I used to have when I was Same, little. Actually, my cats are going to put the shell on it. Me and too, our cats honestly. would mm -hmm. take a shit like, in it. <laughs> Yeah, or pee in it, man. Then it's the exact ruined. same story here. Too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be all nasty when you got the sand out sometimes, though, because then it'd be like stuck to the sides. You'd really have to wash it to turn mm. it into a pool. But yeah. I mine didn't get washed very well, so it'd be like I'm not getting in that. <laughs> I gotta get a pool by the summer. I haven't been in a pool since I left South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Not once. I just talked about a kiddie pool the other day. Well, if they take you to Perryville, they have these really long gradual steps to get in. With she needs those, mm -hmm. you know, very long short steps. Yeah. <laughs> they have these, they have, they have a railing, yeah. <laughs> I That's gotta the only have one that mom was ever able I to I think because I'm going blind, I seriously, you know, can't see anything. So, and then I don't feel my feet, and so now I can't see where I'm going, and I can't feel where I'm going. So, <laughs> she gave up on that whole yeah, sentence. Yeah, yeah, I did. You I need did. one of those. You need those sticks. And then you need one that will talk and be like, no. No. Yes. What I need is. A little thing that will get me down the steps and then come off and let me sit in it. Bro, they and do it have special sticks like that for blind people, yeah. too. Yeah. And then there, there's sensors and it'll, it'll talk to you and be no, like, no, no, not here. No, yes, yes, yes. yes. No, 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 yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And I could slide it down the rail though before I went down because i got to have both hands on the rail. I can have one step at a time. And it's so, and then I wait, and you know, and I'm, and I'm going up the steps, I hunch over. I look like the hunchback of Lucas Street. Lucas, where do I live? I don't even know where I live. I do. And I'm hoping I can get up the steps because when I get on the sidewalk, sometimes I get stuck. I do. The steps in front of me. It's two inches high. And so I have to go around to the grass. Grab the bush, <laughs> get to the hand railing, and and bend over and slowly make it up to the porch. <laughs> so no stairs whenever we build a house or no. anything that we got. <laughs> Absolutely none. Well, actually, I'm gonna put a bunch of stairs going up the house. Mm -hmm. He could have. You could have the second floors <laughs> on your. Mm. I'll, I'll be on the electric yeah. scooter unit for mm -hmm. that. I don't want stairs. Just make a ramp and then for take me, a slide. We can still, and yeah. Down. <laughs> Julie, dude, she'd get so much momentum down that slide, though, she'd fucking crash out at the end. Dude. I have Crap fun going works. down the steps, man. It would be a little bit down. I think an elevator would even be better. An so, elevator to your house? No, into. For, for, oh, you mean an escalator. Oh. Uh, no, oh, an elevator. I got elevator step in the in, house. And it goes on the talking first about inside. floor. Yeah. Oh, inside, inside the house. Like, I was like, that'd be that cool. That's you can have a little round thing. You know how much extra first. money that is? That's, That's a lot. Stairs. And then if it breaks? Yeah, then you gotta repair I it. I bet you we could Google it. You want me to goggle it? Yes, and build it then inside elevator for a two-story house. I think it'll solve all kinds of problems. I'm gonna make and it crank get, if I do that. Yeah, like when, when you... Crank. <laughs> Yeah, You're gonna rich there. people do. Instead of two hands on the rail, it's going to be two house. hands on that crank. <laughs> I am not cranking, no, it will get me out there. Ah, uh, oh, I get a real big one of those, yeah, I don't know. You know, upstairs, I'm going to sound crazy now. I believe, I truly believe that's where the ghosts live. Most haunted houses, you will go up to the attic or the basement. Or the, <laughs> yeah, 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 you're right. Well, hmm. I can't wait to add yeah. this out of <laughs> I got asked about the support thing for my three animals, emotional support paper. Oh, yeah, you got your animals there. Uh, They're basically your emotional support animals, though, you know what I mean? They don't give you no room I feel like death. most animals are emotional support. If you have an animal, that is your emotional support animal. Yeah, I've had doodles so long. She is my baby. She's your baby. Yeah, I mean, she is mellow like me. 
Couch potato. Well, for right now, <laughs> is lunatic Carrie is her name because she does, and you are call it crackhead. And she goes, runs around, and she'll bark and act like she's attacking something. It's funny she'll she'll hit the cat. I love to watch Willow and, and her play together because they get along well. They do. They yeah. do. That's good that they get along really well like that though. Yeah, they'll play and they sleep together. They sleep right next to each other at night. Underneath the covers next to me. And Doodle's down here. And I thought about something, Tyler. I really did. I was thinking, hmm. I had a whole night <laughs> to stretch out on the couch with no animals bothering me. <laughs> okay, it's it's inside joke, y'all. That is really yes, it is. She slipped yes. on the couch one night at a friend's house mm -hmm. and she didn't have any animals jumping all yes, over her. She yes, was too excited yes, about it. Yes, and it was really nice and I realize this now and I hope <laughs> you know this. So yeah, oh God. Uh, I've been having some deep thoughts here lately trying to figure out stuff about my life and I do. I've got a pretty good life. I will have soon. And I'll probably live in somewhere close to here in a camper. I thought about the downsides. Yeah. I don't need a big place to have to. It's just me and my little animals and I'll make them a little pen. It should be yeah. nice with a little camper. Let's yeah, see. I, I will. can see. That's basically retirement right there. Yeah. Because then you in can move show. and you could go on vacation and hook your house up. You could take your house and your animals and everything with you. Yeah. Except unless you can't drive, then someone's got to drive for you. Yeah. Because <laughs> I you have to hire me a driver. Imagine her driving on the highway with a camper. Dude, I've had, I've driven with her before. Have you really? Yeah. I never got Did to I drive, drive with her. Becca? No, you didn't drive. I no, drove. No. I was her passenger. Oh, player. she's a horrible passenger. In the front seat. In See, I'm not the only seat. one to say it now. Look. No, Becca is so bad. <laughs> I went. 20 miles per hour, I took her home from work one night, and she was like, THERE'S BRAKE LIGHTS! Because <laughs> <laughs> she just gets like antsy and everyone's just like, whoa, 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 I'm grab sorry. the oh shit handle. I'm sorry, Becca. It wasn't right. that bad, you were just like, no, brake lights! She started laughing. Uh, yeah, he's stopping, and I kept feeling the car going forward, but see, I'm not in charge. Because I'm not driving, and I'm I don't I'm surprised think, you can see that far, Jules. Well, at that time. Now it's sort of like, you know, well. And yeah. I've, I've got in my head now, when I ride with somebody, that they don't want to mess up their ride either. So why would they run in the back of somebody? So the whole time, I'm thinking we're getting too close. I'm thinking this to calm me down to prove <laughs> we're not going to get in a wreck as he's going 20 miles an hour, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, mm -hmm. we're at time now and it was wonderful seeing y'all. We got Rebecca, guest star, you know. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll put her links down below for her Instagram so you can check her out. Some of her work next episode that you're going to see out. It's going to be Makeup Edition. We're going to give Mama Jules a makeover with our artist right here. Where Mama Jules is going to get a full makeover. Any other uh, plugs that you guys want to throw out or just something that you want to say? I'm really and not then, doing anything but uh, trying to uh, find a place and soon I'll be looking for uh, a camper for sale. Is that a good price? Maybe so let me know. Any stuff you want to plug up? I'm just trying to find a new apartment. <laughs> I've been trying to find a duplex there because I'm in a shotgun one bedroom apartment right now with oh. three people. That's so harsh. <laughs> <laughs> no doors except for the bathroom. It's no privacy. Ever. I mean it's, it's we but it would be nice to have doors. Yeah, as long as I've known you, the, the uh, yeah, that go, apartment living room's on the other side of the bedroom. You can see through my apartment from the front to the back. Yeah, yeah literally. It's wild. Yeah, back yeah. An yeah. upgrade would be nice. Yeah. And other than that, we got Ecstasy Lanes, Labs, oh, yeah. Games t shirts out. They're out. This is just a plain black one. We're going to have ones with uh, the tie dye going across on the black and the white ones. Just same thing on them. Uh, here's a print of the back, because I'm not going to get up and do that for you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so check out them links. Like and subscribe, and check us out for the next episode. And leave some comments, y'all. And leave some comments. Don't forget to comment. we got to know if she's going to go blonde or stay red. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so comment big, big down below. big mystery. And you'll maybe <laughs> see your color on yeah. Makeup Edition. <laughs> yeah, that's my coming out stage. That's my coming out here color. I'm, I've been chilling for eight yeah. years. So I'm coming and if back you out. have any questions on like skincare or like brands, like yeah. you yes. can either comment them below or you can message me. I have Facebook and Instagram and I even have Snapchat. Yeah. <laughs>